So, who's the guy? Why do you think there's always a guy, Thor? Honey, you're putting ketchup on your cereal. <laughs> hey, all you hopeless romantics out there, it's that special night of the year, your last chance to find love. Wow, it's almost that magical moment. So who are you gonna kiss tonight? You know me. I'm not really into that whole romance thing. This Friday, from the makers of Valentine's Day and New Year's Eve. Uh, you know, there's too much pressure put on this one day. I think I'll stay in and read my book. Uh-uh, mister. You are not staying in tonight. Yeah. Comes the story of the whole world coming together on one night to celebrate the apocalypse. <laughs> This whole Armageddon thing, you know, uh, brimstone and hellfire, you know. Just the other day, I strangled a guy for some flashlight batteries. Starring literally thousands of your favorite celebrities, like Al Roker and Christina Aguilera. The forecast says it's going to be the end of the world, but I say we'll be together forever. That's what's happening in this neck of the woods. Shh. Let's just enjoy it. Or what about Cuba Gooding Jr.? I remember the most beautiful woman. She was standing right here 15 years ago. Oh my God, it's her! And Penny Marshall. <laughs> it is you! Well, how did you find me? I guess it's serendipity. <laughs> I love her! And from The Sopranos, Polly Walnut. Hey, D, is the apocalypse? Could be good. Also starring Katherine Heigl, Pierce Brosnan, Piers Morgan, Dennis Rodman, the dog from Frasier, Chris Ludacris Bridges, Chris Ludacris Christofferson, Chris <laughs> Ludacris Bank, Casey Anthony, Watson the Jeopardy Computer, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Aretha Franklin's hat, the Fox NFL robot, Sir Judy Dench, and don't miss an unscripted Kim Cattrall. The four horsemen of the apocalypse. I just hope they have four huge horse <laughs> What about you, kid from Modern Family? The Apocalypse. It's love at last sight. The Apocalypse may destroy the Earth, but the one thing that it can't destroy is... The, the Apocalypse. Apocalypse! Valentine's Day. You love the Marvel Universe. Avengers Age of Ultron. Thor. Captain America. Iron Man. But you want to know... Why no Black Widow movie? Does Marvel not know how to make a girl superhero movie? Chill. Marvel Gets Women. Coming in 2016. When it came to life in the big city, Black Widow had it all figured out. Remind me to call whoever invented heels and leave them a nasty message. A huge apartment, great friends, and an internship at Fashion Weekly. Where's the new girl? Sorry, here. Leather with a low neckline. Take that off. And put it on the cover of our magazine. The only thing missing in Black Widow's life... Such a klutz. <laughs> ...was love. Hey, I'm Ultron. Black Widow. You wanna grab a coffee? I don't really have time to date any guys now. So. What about robots? <laughs> <laughs> so, who's the guy? Why do you think there's always a guy, Thor? Honey, you're putting ketchup on your cereal. From Marvel Studios and the writers of 27 Dresses comes the story of a superhero and her super romance. Activated. I don't know Black Widow. I think you're moving way too fast with this guy. Does he even know anything about you? Like that your favorite food is ice cream? Hey, BW, your boyfriend is on the news. As a robot named Ultron threw a bus at the Fashion Weekly building. And I'd hate to be that guy's girlfriend. <laughs> no, I'm never gonna cry again. 
doing here you know how much that job meant to me I... do you even know what my favorite food is pizza <laughs> thank you for black widow falling in love can be hard but it can also be incredible where you go paris france but if you go paris then who help hulk Eat ice cream. <laughs> Black Widow, Age of Me. Marvel, We Know Girls. From the makers of The Fault in Our Stars comes an all new film about heartbreak and teenage love against the odds. Based on the best selling novel. What's your name? Olive. I'm Theodore. At your service. <laughs> when I said I'd do anything to get out of high school, this wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Tell me your story. Well, when I was first diagnosed, I didn't no. really... Tell me your real story. Because being sick doesn't have to be a life sentence. I know that love is just a shout into the void and that oblivion is inevitable, but I'm sticking with you no matter what kind of cancer you have. No, I don't have cancer. I, I have Ebola. Oh. It's The Fault in Our Stars 2, the Ebola in our everything. Sometimes the most contagious disease is love. Maybe we should ask your doctor if this is okay. If doctors know so much, then why is my doctor dead from Ebola? <laughs> the movie the LA Times calls astonishing, and the World Health Organization calls plausible. I just live for these little infinities with you. Uh-huh. Can you hear me? You're so far away. I'm good. USA Today says, I laughed, I panicked, and I mostly panicked. Let's just travel the world. Get on a plane or a crowded bus and just go. Oh, that's not a good idea. Is this a good idea? <laughs> With Terrence Howard as the trusted guidance counselor. Well, it's not the length of the life, it's how you live it. She wants to have sex. Hell no. Just the tip? Maybe. <laughs> the Fault in Our Stars 2. The Ebola in Our Everything. Because you can't quarantine your heart. Should you vote for me just because I'm the rich, popular, good-looking guy? <laughs> Hell yeah! In this school, looks are everything. What's the deal with the witch? Steer clear, man. She's into some dark stuff. I love my good looks. Well, I curse you to a life without them. You have one year to find someone to love you. Or stay like this. Forever. <laughs> oh no, I'm beastly! Ah! Let me see your face. Pretty gruesome, huh? I've seen worse. Really? No, dude, you look like I misjudge you, Declan. It's what's on the inside that. Oh, dude! What? What's up? Are you serious? I think I sat on some mashed potatoes. <laughs> I'm pregnant and it's yours. You're a man and we haven't slept together. Bird Rango! Beastly! Beastly!